Old Breeze hoping to replicate last week's T20 success when it takes on St Patrick's in round three action. The club's welcomed a host of new names in recent weeks with former skipper Cade Brown returning tomorrow. It's been a tough start to the season for Albury, with just one win on the board from its 2020 clash against Wodonga Raiders last week. But the club believes it's on par with St Patrick's, eyeing off the danger players for tomorrow's big clash. Matty Crawshaw's been a good cricketer now for a period of time. I think he got an 80-odd the other day. And um, yeah, and then you've got Kane Aradach, who's been around for a while, and he always tends to take a few wickets. Albury's strengthened its side in recent weeks, with a handful of players coming over from New City. Former captain Cade Brown set to return from time off as well as this week welcoming an English import to the club. Dominic Stockdale, he uh, arrived on Wednesday and um, he'll play seconds this week. His clearance just um, came through and um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how he goes. Looking around the grounds and New City's now diminished squad tanks on East Albury, Belvoir hosts Wodonga. The Lavington and Tulangata games tip to be a showdown and Wodonga Raiders have a tough ask against North Albury. It has been a baptism of fire for new Aubrey coach Luke Stiles, but you won't hear him complaining. Aubrey is looking for its first win in the one-day cricket this weekend as it hosts St Pats. A tough initiation for first-year Aubrey coach Luke Stiles. Losses to contenders Belvoir and Talangata to start the one-day season. But Stiles says he's enjoying the challenge with a group to only get better. The whole thing's going really well. We're probably a bit slow out of the blocks through unavailabilities and uh, through weddings and bucks parties and um, just a couple of blokes that need extended breaks. But um, yeah, they're all sort of slowly coming back now, so things are looking positive. Aubrey hosts St Pat's in round three and Stiles is giving his side every chance of causing an upset. They've been a group that's been together for a while. They um, got young Kilby out of New City, who's a very good keeper batsman. And um, yeah, it should be a very good game. We feel that's about the level we're at. So yeah, looking forward to the contest. The Scott School will see East Albury and New City meet, but despite neither winning a game in the 50 over format, East Albury will be unbackable favourites. Oh, I think New City would need a big game from Liam, Liam Fitzsimmons. He's a very good cricketer, but um, yeah, you wouldn't think they'd be good enough to get over the line this week. One of the matches of the round sees Belvoir and Wodonga meet at Kelly Park. Both sides unbeaten, but Belvoir appear to have more than just cricket to contend with if they're to get the win. I think uh, it's Josh Warren's wedding uh, today, so I'm not sure of the availabilities of some of the boys and the condition they might be in, but um, yeah, you'd have to go with Wodonga. Another highly anticipated clash is Lavington against ladder leaders Tulangata. Yeah, it's a good one. We played Tulangata a couple of weeks ago and they're a very good side, but um, yeah, it's hard to go past Lavington as well. And the Raiders round out the weekend at Birralee Park against North Albury. Oh, North Albury by a fair margin, I would have thought. Stephen Murphy, Prime 7 News.